I think you're a fun person. I, I don't think you're uh, a mean person, but I think that a lot of people can no longer take you seriously. Any drama, they feel that um, maybe those tears aren't for reals because you've kind of uh, sold your life to reality television. And once you do that, it kind of robs whatever happens to you of its pathos. What do you think? Yeah, hey, look, I mean, reality TV is, is exactly what you, the way you just described it. You know, it's, it's, it's nothing real. You really don't do anything real in reality TV. And Mikkel and I, you know, we had enjoyed, you know, that lifestyle. Mikkel loved it more. I tried to honor her and always, you know, keep her in that platform because she really wanted that, Jane, as, as you know. And, uh, Do you feel you know, betrayed I, I, by the fact that she ran off? Do you feel betrayed or did you see it coming? Because you knew, Neil, for years he was your best friend. And what we've heard from people is that it was kind of an open secret that your wife had a crush on him at the very least. Yeah, you know, obviously I knew that she dated him back in the 90s. We had talked about open, that openly, like all of our relationships, you know, before we got married. But I just was blindsided, Jane. I had no idea. I, I really didn't. Uh, I, I didn't even know how long it was going on. You know, for two years now, we know there was an affair going on. Tark, if Mikhail came back to you, would you take her back? No, no, I, I couldn't take her back. Look, I love Mikhail, and, and I'm still in love with Mikhail. But, it, you know, the fact that she's been committing adultery and it's been going on for at least two years... No, I think we have to close that chapter. I have to keep my head up and move forward and, and uh, you know, get along, get along, you know, with my life now.